All right, let's talk about Chardemol. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so uh, a little back uh, back story here. Uh, Chardemol came out in 2010, and it is one of the charging plug standards we have throughout the world now. So there's mainly two standards, the Chardemol and CCS. And um, as of today, the cars using the Chardemol plug are the Leaf, the ENV200, IMEV, C0, ION, and Soul. And those are the pure EVs, and of course, uh, the Mitsubishi Outlander plug-in hybrid also uses Chadmo plug. It can, in fact, fast charge the tiny fossil uh, hybrid battery thing. <laughs> but, um, and then we have CCS, which came in 2013. So there are good reasons why some cars are equipped with the Chadmo, because when those cars were introduced, they simply didn't have um, CCS ready, right? And then, um, Naturally, car manufacturers, they don't want to waste money uh, just developing uh, the car for CCS. But like we've seen, uh, the new Soul now has, uh, or the E-Soul rather, has the CCS plug instead of the Chardemol. So they ditched the Chardemol plug. But as for these uh, triplets, you know, the, the IMEV and all those, uh, they, uh, I think the, they, they stop developing them. They still sell them with Chardemol today, but that's, that's it. Um, so, uh, and also as for new cars coming today, you know, all of them, like the ID3, like the new uh, uh, Mach-E, you know, they get CCS, of course, because that's the future, except for Nissan and Lexus. Nissan, they still cling on to the, the Chalmo plug, they want it for the ENV200 and the Leaf, and then Lexus, the UX300E comes with Chalmo. I'm like, what the heck? What? Okay, let me tell you a little bit about the Lexus. So uh, it's going to come uh, next year sometime, hopefully. And it has a 54.3 kilowatt stunden battery. Uh, <laughs> and like I mentioned, you know, Chalmo plug. Uh, you know, what? I saw that picture and I heard it in the news a little bit and I didn't click to read it. But then I started reading about it. I'm like, huh? what? Whoa, 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 plug in the Lexus. Okay, it's Toyota, it's Japanese, you know, Japan, they want to hold on to their invention there. Um, but no, no, no. Uh, and only 50 kilowatts, Chadamo, in 2020. I mean, even in 2009 now, 50 kilowatt is considered kind of slow. I don't know what I mean. Okay, Tesla fanboys, they've been laughing. <laughs> We've been having 120 kilowatts since 2013, right? <laughs> yeah, we're moving on to 250 kilowatt now. Um, and what else should I say? Okay, and the Lexus also has air-cooled battery. At least it's actively cool, right? Like an Ionic. But the problem with the air-cooled battery is that Okay, when you fast charge, you can cool it down, kind of, uh, but uh, it doesn't cool down evenly. Uh, so some cells will be at high temperature, some cells will be at lower temperature. So that could also be a problem when you want to push the battery to its limits. And also, you cannot, you simply cannot, no wait, one doesn't simply, no, well, how was it again? One does not simply walk on up to motor or whatever. Yeah, so you cannot cool I mean, you cannot heat up the battery an air cool battery i mean wait and an, an air that sounds weird right air cool battery that it lies lies in within the name right it's air cool only not air heated battery so uh, then you need liquid cooling. With liquid cooling uh, system, you can do way more, like in a Tesla, you know, they've been doing it in 2013, 12, um, or other cars now coming out now today, like e-tron, e-tron, i-pace, you know, those cars. Uh, so uh, let's not talk too much about that, but uh, today it's going to be about the Chadamo. The problem with the Chadamo. What's wrong with Chadamo? Okay, the problem with Chadamo is that in Europe, at least, almost um, no one is getting more. I mean, there, there are almost no uh, 50 plus kilowatt fast chargers. So, like, all of them are, are let's say, okay, uh, wild guess, about 99.9% .9 of the chargers in Europe, or I guess also in other countries, are 50 kilowatt or lower. Like Estonia, I think they had only 30 kilowatt fast charge, fast chargers over there. Uh, so that's a problem because with the new Leaf, of course, you can charge it up to 100 kilowatt, but there's simply almost nowhere you can get it. And I still haven't found a place 
in Europe or uh, Northern Europe where I can charge that thing at more than 50 kilowatts. So that's one problem. And then the second problem is Ionity is that they, I guess they have roots from Germany or whatever, and Germany in general does not support Chanamo. They want to promote CCS uh, and they don't, uh, so Ionity naturally does not put uh, Chanamo plugs on their fast chargers. They, the problem is Ionity is awesome. They have fast chargers. Well, I was about to say all over Europe, but you know, good, nice portion of Europe is slowly being covered more and more. And all of those locations, they don't have Chalamo. They only have CCS. And of course, it goes up to 350 kilowatts. Yeah, it's awesome, but no Chalamo for you, baby. And another problem with, uh, with the CCS versus the Chalamo is that, um, okay, if you look here, uh, we we're talking about the Lexus again. Lexus has the Chalamo plug in one side and then the the AC plug uh, type 2 hopefully not type 1 <laughs> uh, AC plug on the other side and it's kind of cumbersome well you get used to it of course and then also in uh, other cars like a Leaf you only have a big panel where you have the type 2 and the Chadmo plug so it eats up a lot of space whereas with the CCS you can have way more compact design so it's not too big of a deal but yeah 50 kilowatt fast chargers they still have to be here for a while that's my guess uh, i bet they, they should at least exist for 10 more years maybe actually forever uh, why because they are cheap to install unlike the ccs i mean sorry unless the uh, unlike the the hpc the high power chargers that goes from 100 kilowatt and up and uh, there will be places where you actually don't have to charge that fast you know there, there's a limit upper limit of how um, how they put this, how much energy you burn per kilometer. Uh, you know, so the, the consumption hits a certain spot, I guess, for small EVs, and then 50 kilowatt would be perfectly fine for them. Um, and anyway, and also I think that for at least for those chargers, the 50 kilowatt uh, chargers, fast chargers, you can equip them with, uh, with Chalmo also. It's a small cost, of course, you need two plugs, but I believe that because we have so many leaves and triplets and soles uh, and still cars with uh, with Chalmo plug, then you know they can simply Europe, for example, can simply not get rid of the Chalmo plug. Um, so it's going to be there probably for at least ten years until these cars are phased out and they die slowly die. You know, then they can move to one one plug to rule them all yes the CCS plug in Europe at least um, so uh, what what you, what should I say about uh, child mode then is that uh, okay Nissan if you guys are listening this is just my advice okay um, please equip the new uh, what's it called again I Aria Aria I think that's what it's called it's like a new SUV from uh, leaf uh, from uh, Nissan Equip that one with CCS, right? And then in next generation Leaf and ENV 200 should also get CCS. And of course, the same goes to Lexus, Toyota. Put uh, CCS plug on that uh, UX 300E, you know? because if you pl uh, how to put this, um, existing cars you can't do anything with them, you know, like the old Leaf or or the or the old Soul, you know. Uh, requiring them to go to some dealership over there to retrofit it with CCS is simply too expensive and stuff so that that's not a viable option okay just keep those cars with Chadamo but at least when you introduce a new car coming out this year or next year or from now on don't put Chadamo plug in it that's my bold claim of course a lot of people will disagree with me I think the majority will actually agree with me. That's why I make this video in the first place. So um, uh, otherwise you will be digging down a spiral because uh, car manufacturers uh, or, or rather hardware manufacturers that makes the chargers, they don't seem to uh, be able to pull off this and get the water cool cable or whatever. You know? I, I don't know why, but it's just like that. I asked for them uh, about this, and they're like, "Ah, oh, we can't get the cable for this for the Chalmers for more than sixty-two point five kilowatt or whatever." I actually never seen sixty-two point five kilowatt anyway. I've seen, uh, I think, the highest on the newest Leaf was 47, 48 kilowatt or something. That's it. Uh, no, no, no. It was, yeah, I think it was forty-eight, forty-nine, uh, one hundred and thirty. 
132 amp, yeah, maximum for Chatamo is supposed to be 130. This was at Li, yeah, so, yeah, but anyway, so, I think I'm not going to talk too much about it. I just, you know, explain for you guys a little bit about Chatamo versus CCS, how it is in Europe, and my recommendation to Nissan and uh, Lexus and hopefully or maybe other car manufacturers also don't use Chatmo. yeah yeah so anyway that's it for now I hope you guys enjoyed this video as always thank you for watching and talk to you later